Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Please reach out to me directly. Email tmasso at thewatchbox.com for pricing. Today, we are discussing a watch launched at Ball's World 2014. This is the Blancpain Villeray Chronographe Pulsometre, a timepiece. 43.7 millimeters in rose gold, and it is 13.7 millimeters thick from lug tip to lug tip. It measures 49 millimeters, and it has a 23 millimeter spacing between the lugs. We'll throw it on my wrist, which is 16 centimeters in circumference, and you can see the watch wears well, comfortably, but broad. It's a heavy and substantial timepiece. You can see how large my wrist and my hands really are, so it's actually a good fit for me. If my wrist is 16 centimeters in circumference, I would say that the smallest wrist that could wear this would probably be like 15 centimeters in circumference. A little bit smaller, but not much smaller. It's not terribly thin, though. Though a dress watch, it's not the most cuffable. You should be okay with a jacket, just not the tightest of shirt sleeves. Taking a look at the hardware and the software, we have a light honey brown, a large rectangular scale alligator leather with a semi-gloss finish. You can see there is a sheer cut edge showing these substantial layers of leather and a monotone stitch. You'll note this is a Blancpain factory strap in outstanding condition, never crimped, never gouged, calf on the bottom, gator on the top, a little bit of a taper to its profile, and the watch comes with a deployant clasp that includes an internal leaf spring, so it'll snap open and snap shut. Double deployant, so less likely to pinch your wrist than a single fold, and a handsome, worthy accessory to a large and expensive watch. Deployants help to protect against accidentally dropping your watch. Taking a look at the case, a typical Blancpain design is we have the lugs generously broken out from the case band. They have very separate forms. This is the opposite of, say, a Calatrava blended lug profile. Everything's of high polish. We have a double-domed or Gadrun-style bezel, and then we have these vintage-inspired Lawson-shaped chronograph pushers and Blancpain branded crown. The watch is exactly what the dial promises. It is a flyback chronograph. Reset and restart with one press of the trigger. And pulsometre, it is a pulsometer. It is designed for doctors to gauge the pulse of their patient. So for example, if you have a base 30, what you do is you start the chronograph at the same time you start counting the pulse on your patient. And when you reach 30, you st that's 30 pulses counted, you stop the chronograph. So if in that sweep of time of roughly 12 seconds, you count a 30 pulse beats and stop, that is 150 per minute. That is the pulse rate, 150 beats per minute. The dial is Grand Faux enamel in blue and beautiful. This is fired enamel, fired up to 20 times at 800 degrees Celsius to create a lovely glass-based vitreous dial that will last forever. It will never tarnish or oxidize. Minimalist dial, you can see highly stylized Roman numerals, including a lovely watchmaker's four. We have spare hollow leaf style skeletonized hands. We actually have skeletonized counterweight even for the Lancet style seconds hand, so a lovely gossamer graceful profile for those and batons for chronograph minutes and hours. The dial features a little cutaway for the date disc down at 6 o'clock. The watch features hacking seconds as well as a quick set date, so it has both of those functions. It's a doctor's chronograph dial. Uh, you can see this is lucky number 99. On the reverse side, you can see caliber F385. This is a modern, high-beat, integrated, automatic chronograph caliber. Let's talk about the basics. Automatic winding, it has a 50 hour power reserve. It beats at 36,000 vibrations per hour like a Zenith L Primero, so the higher beat rate makes for better resolution of the chronograph and potentially better accuracy for the watch. We have a full balance bridge with a free sprung balance architecture for precise regulation and shock resistance. We also have a silicon hairspring for anti magnetism. The watch, which Pivots on 37 joules is adjusted in six positions, which is one more than a standard chronometer, so that's quite impressive. You could see it as a black polished column wheel for operating its function cycling, and the column wheel 
feels and sounds crisp. It's a pleasing, traditional way to build a chronograph. More expensive and more challenging to tune than a cam system, but this watch is not about pinching pennies. This is cost no object watchmaking. Now, it also has a vertical clutch, which means when you start the chronograph, there's no jump or stagger to the second hand, and you can leave the chronograph running with no hazard to the watch. That's one of the advantages of a vertical clutch. 30 meters water resistance, so this is dress watch water resistance. Uh, you don't want to swim with it, but you have other blanc pound watches like your 50 fathoms for that. As you can see, the finishing is impressive with broad mirrored englage on the edge of every bridge, richly textured Cote de Genève across the bridges, black polished screw heads with chamfered slots and circumference, engine turning or perlage on the base plate, and then satination on the wheels. There's also a wheel that's part of the driving mechanism of the chronograph that features a spoke style designed to evoke the Lamborghini Aventador, a little bit of a nod and a wink to the long-term partnership between Blancpain and Lamborghini. And finally, we have this triple finished rotor with a combination of beveling, satination on the side, and this scalloped drilling on the center. Quite beautiful. Reach out to tmasso at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.